All right, I'll just explain what I'm doing here. I have borrowed from a good friend, a recent good friend, a Lambda measuring outfit here, complete with the uh, correct pipes here to fit on the uh, square case 900 SS. And uh, what has it got? It has, uh, it's got the pipes, and in the pipes there's a place for an oxygen sensor, sensor place for a temperature probe as well. That's the uh, temperature right there, gauges. And then here's the uh, lambda measuring gauge. And so there's a bunch of electronics and stuff there and a very complicated manual, which was a hard read, I have to say. But hopefully it all makes sense. And so I'm just about to install it. It involves putting those headers on the bike. Um, it doesn't have a crossover because you want to measure each pipe completely independently from the other. And so it has these, he has welded these extensions onto the pipes. And so we're gonna go straight out from that into that and the other side into the other side. So, uh, and the whole point of this exercise is to precisely measure the fuel air ratio in the exhaust while you're riding at different throttle positions. And from that, one can determine the carburation settings, you know, the jets and any other things that need to be uh, set up. At this point, um, I've rebuilt the carbs and they look absolutely stunning. There's a long video series on my channel about that. And that made a great difference. I found, the, found everything very adjustable with that. You know, you can change things and you can sense a difference. It's quite good and consistent as well. Um, and so with that done, uh, I'm, I've tried various jets. Uh, I can get varying results. At throttle, the bike works, you know, rides strong and hard. Great, no problem there. Um, idling, no problem there. And the, but it's the bit where you just, you've just cracked the throttle on. When you're riding along, which is all the time around town, you basically just crack the throttle on a little bit. And that can be anywhere from two to three and a half thousand or so, um, just at town speeds, and you're just riding like that all the time. And I can get it running nicely like that as well. Um, the bit that uh, I haven't managed to sort is if you're running like that, and then you move it on just a little bit more, not full, not to where the um, pump jet would come into play, but just a little bit more like that, it goes gets anemic, and it's sort of a uh, just uh, gets anemic, like it's not getting enough fuel and air. Which, reading the carburetor guides, Delorto's guide, I'm unsure, but uh, it certainly is affected by the idle jet and the idle mixture setting, uh, both of which are, you know, even though they're called idle jet and idle mixture setting, really what they affect is that first crack on and how it responds off the, you know, just coming onto the throttle. That's that's what it affects. It greatly affects that. The idle itself is not that relevant. You can set the idle, I mean, the idle you set using the uh, throttle stops screws. That's what sets the idle. Your, your engine can be running completely crap, but you can still set an idle. <laughs> and so the idle itself is not really a huge concern. It runs well at idle. I can always set a nice idle at a thousand RPM or so, no problem there. Um, but it's that, just cracking the throttle on, that sort of area, which is what I'm just trying to get it's really good. Now this has PHM 40s, these are BDBS carbs, um, which were on the last year, just some of the last year had these, they were the same as on the 82 MHR. And uh, visually they're identical to the A, S and AD. I'm unsure what the difference actually is. I've examined both. Um, only thing I note is that they have slightly different jetting um, by default uh, from the uh, AD and AS. That being instead of something like a, a 145 to 152 in that area, usually 152, they would have a 135 and a 145. Uh, different per cylinder as well to deal with uh, one being always being a bit richer than the other and so I've done everything I've tried 145s on both and I've also gone to 135 145 uh, currently I've got one 
Now it's 135, 140 is the stock. I've currently gone to 140, 145. So I've actually gone up slightly. Uh, I forget which is the richer one, but uh, I think it's the top is the larger. I can't remember. I can uh, reply if someone wants to know. It's in the, it's in the Ducati guides. Um, and so that's, that's what I'm trying to do. Basically, it, everything runs really well. I just want to get it that extra, make it ex run extra well just in that little bit. According to the guides, it may even be the, um, the slide that actually affects that. And it's the angle of that um, cutaway in the slide that, that affects that, uh, that sort of come on as well. That said, I've never seen anyone recommend anything but the 60 slash 1 sliders um, in these. And so uh, it seems like it would be odd to need to change that. But that's what the Lambda outfit will tell us. Um, will tell us if there's anything wrong there. Um, other than that, the engine is fully rebuilt, carbs are rebuilt, everything's in beautiful condition, it's running, it's uh, very, very nice. Um, okay, now I'm going to put these on and uh, I'll have a look at it again afterwards. Okay, bye.